My name's Anissa Daruji. I'm a social documentary and portrait photographer. I photograph things that are about the community, about what's going on in society. I try and make my visuals speak a bigger message. Maybe show sides of certain social groups and places and communities where you might not always be exposed kind of always another element of that because I don't see it represented in the way that I would love it to be represented. Carnival has a very long history. It came from racial tensions, that is the crux of it. And it is a protest, but the way protest happened in the islands was very different. It's a celebration of culture. I saw it as a little piece of Trinidad and, and that was lovely. But then it was not just Trinidad, it was all the other islands. A beautiful mixture of all that's West Indian, the food, the culture, the dress, the, the sounds of the different beats and music. Diverse with all different races. I feel London has a lot of that too and that's, that's important. Yes, there are very sad elements as to why it's here, but ultimately it is a street party that is bringing people together. So when people dress up at Carnival, people think it's just the feathers and bikinis and, and leotards. It's evolved into that over the years. And don't forget that the islands are hot countries. But there's all these other elements to the dressing up, which all have story. Some of them, they're quite shocking as to where it derived from. That's something that was important to Caribbean people to not lose sight of that. It's a big piece of history. To not see it that way is doing it a disservice, I think. The photography that's taken at Carnival, it can be about the crime, it can be about the mess in the streets of Notting Hill. But I think that is the case after any festival. If you think it's 11 times as big as Glastonbury, it's gonna look bad. The other side of it is that you get these over-sexualized pictures. Why does the photographer have to focus just on that? How are you helping them and what they love about their culture? That's, again, misrepresentative. Be mindful of what you do. Would you do it at Glastonbury? Would you do it anywhere else? Why choose Notting Hill to make that one look the worst? I don't think that's right. So I think when you are working or planning to take a photograph of a group then don't do it unless you can comfortably and confidently say they would be happy if I represent them. It's just research, but most of all, you're coming from a good place. Like with everything, it unfolds with dialogue. So if you have a dialogue with someone and, and that alone will tell you whether or not you are the right person to be doing it in the first place, it's one of the most beautiful things to photograph. But no one's focusing on those stunning costumes and the mass bands that do have a story behind them. Because it, it isn't just feathers. It's, it's, it's far bigger than that. It's far, it means so much more to the Caribbean people than just feathers. No body type is not good enough. And no melanin shade is not good enough. 